Here's Brody Brazil. Major League Baseball is still very interested in the Las Vegas market. I think we should establish that. We're, we're documenting the A's involvement and whatever. But I think, honestly, what Dave Stewart's doing in Nashville, that that is like the slam dunk to me. And I'm not saying that from any source of, of specific knowledge. I mean, I, I'm just reading the room on that one. And it seems like baseball is ready for Nashville. It, I think there's still some, some questions about Las Vegas. And they like it, but I think there's some questions there. Yeah, I mean, I like Las Vegas for an expansion team. I love Nashville for an expansion team, yep. the Nashville Stars and everything Dave Stewart's doing. And I think if Oakland and Tampa Bay can be figured out, then Major League Baseball can look to expand. And all this work the A's have done in Vegas already will right. clear the way for an expansion team there. And yeah. it will also uh, really make it worth putting them on revenue sharing and, and getting this figured out. I think they're essentially paying the A's for their Las Vegas due diligence should it come up in the future because uh, they hope that things will work out here. Uh, you know, the other thing too is if you're a casino magnate, um, you know, Sheldon Adelson really was the guy that, that made the Raiders deal happen. That's not really happening there. Um, but if you are a casino magnate out there, what's in it for you? to really make this happen for John Fisher and the A's. Like you would want to buy in, you would want to own this team. You would want to have at least a major ownership stake in this team uh, to, you know, put all your muscle behind a deal that would get the A's there. Because frankly, Major League Baseball isn't the draw that the NFL is. Right. And I think that, you know, bringing a horde of people in for a week of play in Vegas to then sit at a game for three to four hours on Sunday isn't a problem trying to entice like Royals fans or heck Mariners fans to come here four <laughs> times a year. And then, and then to have people sitting at the stadium three to four to five hours and not at the tables, you know, several days a week, isn't really great for Vegas in my opinion. What's but, that word you use? Mag magnet? Magnate? Magnate. Yeah. Ma I've, I've seen that word. I don't really use it, but I, I like that. So I'm, I'm that person, right? Of course, I don't want you coming all the way down to the airport, flying in and not spending time at my casino, my restaurant, my uh, pool with cabanas. Like I want you on my property, spending money, entertainment, going out to a show at my uh, at my theater, like I, all that stuff. <clears throat> I don't know that I want you to spend five hours away from my place and just come back and use it as the hotel room it is. So uh, to your point, I think anywhere any major league baseball team, let's just, let's remove the A's for a second. Any major league baseball team that goes down to that city has something unique in the guest, um, the visitor and guest level. And the fact that you almost have to jump into a relationship with one of those properties, number one, to get the actual land and to get the property, but to also have a synergy in a relationship that would get fans to come down there and have everybody on the same page. You just, you can't do it the wrong way and have it work the right way down there. 